Welcome to the Ball Brad Show. In today's episode, we're looking at yesterday's White House press briefing where reporters questioned John Kirby for like the 20th time on what is going on with the $6 billion that Joe Biden wants to give to Iran. We're also going to hear from Jackie Heinrich of Fox News getting a multitude of questions in. Support the show by hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave us a short, sweet comment down below. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Jewish audience question. Thank you. Thank you, uh, John. What is the status of the $6 billion that Iran was set to have access to? It's still sitting uh, in the Qatari Bank. All of it. Every every dime of it. Is there an agreement now to, in essence, withhold it from Iran should they come asking for it? None of that money has been spent, and I have no updates uh, to provide today. Was the decision to reach a quiet understanding with Qatar about whether or not it would be accessed by Iran made because of the attack or political pressure in recent days? I'm not going to talk about diplomatic conversations one way or another, Ed. What I can tell you is... Is anybody else getting the vibe that Iran can still use this money? That it's, it's not frozen? That if they just reached out, that they can use it for humanitarian purposes? And we'll put that in air quotes. Because that's the vibe I'm getting right now. Let's see if the White House clears this one up for us. I don't think so. Is that every single dime of that money is still sitting in the Qatari Bank. Not one of it, not one dime of it has been spent. I'd also remind... Because this, you know, I, I know in certain audiences, inconvenient facts are easy to forget. <laughs> the re regime was never going to see a dime of that money. And this account, although it's moved from South Korea to Qatar, was set up by the previous administration for this exact purpose. In fact, I think it was back in 2018, the former Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, actually talked in quite some detail. Uh, about how this money and these accounts could only be used for humanitarian purposes and that there was going to be oversight. We've done nothing different. It is the same process. All we've done is move that funds from South Korea, where for some technical reasons it wasn't accessible, to Qatar, where it is more accessible. All that said, none of it has been accessed by the Iranian, uh, by, uh, by Iranian, uh, by, by Iran at all. And even if they had accessed it, it wouldn't go to the regime. It would go to approved vendors that we approved to go buy food, medicine, and medical equipment, agricultural products, and ship it into Iran directly to the benefit of the Iranian people. And let me ask you... You gotta love this whole aspect of like, well, we select the vendors and, and we'll know exactly where the money's going as if we haven't lost trillions of dollars before. Like the day before 9-11, we lost like a trillion dollars. That's not the only time it's happened before. We can't even, we can't even keep track of our own nation in terms of the objects that are flying over it. China built a spy base for close to a decade in Cuba, and we had no idea. So don't give me this like, oh, well, 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 we can track them. You better trust us. Really, John? Really? And then you're going to blame the prior administration for the foosery that's going on? And if it is true, if it is true that Mike Pompeo and Trump put this stuff through, doesn't mean I agree with it. I'm not beholden to the guy. I like him. I'm going to vote for him again. But it doesn't mean he doesn't do dumb stuff and, and doesn't say dumb stuff. He does. Okay, he's a politician. I understand he's a businessman, but he's also a politician now. He's going to say and do stupid things that I don't agree with. It just so happens I agree with a lot of the things he does, and I agree with a lot of the things he says. It's just it, the messaging is insane. It's so insane. Short answer or question, I suppose. Maybe both. Why is it still there? And maybe it's frozen. We're not going to give them a damn dime ever. How about that be your answer? Why are we like making this all confusing? They have access to it, but they don't have access to it. It didn't have quality access in South Korea. So we moved to somewhere else where now they have great access to it. It was frozen, but it's unfrozen. They haven't used it, but they can use it. If they reached out to use it, we don't know if we'll let them use it or not. But if they do decide to use it, we have vendors that are pre-selected for them to use it. And we'll make sure it doesn't go towards terrorism. Really? Holy crap. One other, has the United States independently verified the photos released by the Israeli Prime Minister's Twitter account today showing the images of dead children? I don't think we're going to be in the business of, of, uh, of uh, having to uh, validate or approve uh, those images that are coming from the Prime Minister of Israel, um, and we have absolutely no reason to doubt their authenticity. How about you just say that they are authentic? and 
you kind of push that narrative in front of the whole American people, the atrocities that's going on over there. So some of them wake the bleep up and see that these people are massacring entire neighborhoods and families and women and children and men. I mean, you name it, they're mowing over people because they're bleeping terrorists and you don't want to sit there and, and just confirm the authenticity of the photos that are being released by Israel and the prime minister. Really, John? Holy crap, this is insane. Question, please. To, to follow up on these questions about the $6 billion, I understand Iran hasn't accessed any of this yet. It's you know intended for humanitarian purposes, but there have been reports of this quiet agreement. So yes or no, if Iran wanted to access this today, could they? I'm not going to speculate one way or another here about future transactions. What I can tell you is none of it has been accessed, and we are watching every dime, as you would expect. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. I, I'm not going to get into the future of how this money is going to be spent going towards Iran as a fungible expenditure, basically. I, I, I'm sorry, guy. I don't I just don't understand it. I don't for the life of me understand it. I've tried. The reporters have tried. Nobody can understand why the hell would you be giving money at any point from now to the future to Iran? Humanitarian purposes or not, we all know that the money that they were going to use for humanitarian purposes is now going to be released towards terrorism because we're about to give them $6 billion to be used towards humanitarian purposes. So the money that they were going to originally use for it now goes towards who funding terrorism. Holy crap. Dude, I am so, my head is so blown right now that this is happening. Like what, I, what is the end game here for this White House? Like what, what I don't understand. Why the hell can't you just say you're not getting a freaking dime? Forget it. You screwed up. You're not getting anything. Like, I don't understand why it can't be clear. And that was, that's why she proposed this question to this guy. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm sorry. You got senators in, 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 in our government basically saying anti-Semitic stuff left and right. You have people in our college system, in our university system, that is all about Hamas. You got people in the White House. With this stuff, like, what is going on? Is anybody else's eyebrows raised? I know some of you have been like, Brad, we, we, we have been for quite some time. I mean, holy hell, though. I mean, forgive me on my speech right now, my cussing, but what is going on? We would. We're watching it very, very closely. So I'm not going to still tap into it. I'm not in a position to speak about these press reports. I'm telling you, nothing's been accessed, and we have oversight. We we have oversight over uh, over what can be accessed and for what purposes. And on another topic, the press. I, I, it's, I, I mean, what 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 more do I add to that? It's so freaking insane what we're seeing right now. We're talking about giving the leading sponsor of terrorism. Six billion dollars, and we're going. Well, they're not going to use it for terrorism. Well, it's so stupid. So here's Jackie Hydrick, Wonder Woman, who we love here in the Ball Brad Show. Make sure you head over to her Instagram, show her some love, give her some followers. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, she gets a multitude of questions in here, and uh, they're good questions. Jackie. Thank you, Kareem. Um, John, one quick one on the charter flights. Are, are those free of cost to American citizens? I would refer you to the State Department. Typically they are, but I mean, I, I, I don't have the, they're still working through the details of how they're going to coordinate these. And then on the, the $6 billion, we know that 100 senators were told on Tuesday night that the plan was basically to leave any requests for withdrawals pending indefinitely. And now we know that House Democrats were told by the Deputy Treasury Secretary behind closed doors this morning, pretty much the same, with one added layer that there's an agreement with Qatar uh, not to let those funds be dispersed. I just, why is it that you won't come out and say that the U.S. does not intend to let this money get, go to Iran? Jackie, we, we've all. Yes, yes, thank you. God, she's great. 
damn, I'm sorry, folks. It's just when, when it's it feels good to just have somebody in the room like her or Peter Ducey and others. There are others in there, but God, it feels good. Watch how he spins it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Always had since the beginning. We've always had the ability to provide oversight over the disbursement of these funds. We've always had the option, uh, uh, t if, if we wanted it, t to look at transactions and to make a call about whether we found it valid or not. That has not changed. And even now, as you and I are speaking, none of that money has been accessed by anybody. It's still all there. Is, is it because we think that Freezing it essentially again would complicate uh, any negotiations with Iran or our ability to get Americans home in the future. I'm not going to go into any more detail. Okay, and then on the. Um... That's disgusting. I'm not going to go into any more detail. Look, it, it's a reporter asking a question on behalf of the American people. And you're not going to go into any more detail? I, I, I would like to know. Why six billion dollars has the possibility of going towards Iran, whether you say it's going to the regime or not. We all know what, where the money's going. Look, we all know where the money's going, whether you say it's for humanitarian purposes or not. Let's say it does go there. Like I mentioned, that frees up a lot of money for them to put it towards. I don't know what, what terrorism, John. Some sick stuff coming from this White House, man. I know there's corruption in our government. That's why I don't trust government. But holy crap, man. You guys are seeing some crazy shit right now. I mean, fuck. I, I, dude, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I, I'm speechless. I'm trying to find words to quantify my thoughts and, and portray it in a way that's like trying to rationalize what the hell is going on. And I can't. I like literally can't. Overland and uh, by sea and, and by land efforts. I, I guess why is it that we find ourselves in so many situations trying to get Americans out, um, and that it's largely happening, you know, not through a government effort, but we're telling you know civilians to find their way across a border um, in a war zone. It happened in Ukraine. It, you know, it, it, why is it that we found ourselves in that position? so many times it seems and what let me be john kirby here being truthful john kirby well jackie this is a phenomenal question we had democrats supposedly allegedly 82 million of them vote for a guy that's senile old man that's brain isn't functioning correctly we really don't know who's running the government right now but because our foreign adversaries and our enemy saw that joe biden was weak and that he was due doing his pants and he was just stoked to have chocolate chip ice cream but couldn't stand up on a bicycle while it's stationary and falls up a flight of stairs, hits a golf ball backwards. Well, they decided to uh, invade other countries such as Ukraine, and now China wants to invade Taiwan. Iran wants to blow Western civilization off the face of the earth. All the while, we want to give them $6 billion. How that makes sense, Jackie? I have no idea. I'm John Kirby, but I have no idea why our president would want to do that. Um, so, I mean, that would be why probably people would decide to do certain stupid ass things like, I don't know, massacre mm, children, families, men, women, rape, pillage entire freaking neighborhoods. I don't know, Jackie, that might be some of them. That should be the truthful response from John Kirby, but let's let's see let's see the BS response from this man. And again, I, I it sucks talking about this or like John Kirby about him like this because he has served our country as an admiral. Uh you know, he's done great things for our country. It's just it's disgusting the, the this what's what he's doing here. He knows, he knows better position exactly we're, we're directing american citizens to basically find their way their own way to u.s help on the other side whereas you've got other countries that are sending their military in or, or doing evacuations in a more formal way well first of all uh, uh, americans and dual passport holders live all over the world and oh my god sometimes they choose to live in places where where bad things happen um you know, we're not in a we're not in a position of lecturing to americans <laughs> i i honestly god didn't think it'd get any more dumber and it just did hey john why are we telling uh 
I don't know, people dual citizenship or American citizens to, to travel across a freaking war zone where a bunch of terrorists want to behead them and skin them alive and wear their teeth as necklaces to go through them to get out of the country rather than sending in the boys, the brigade, the choppers to get them the hell out of there and get them home or to a safe place. Why are we telling them to go through a freaking war zone, Judd? His response is, oh, well, you know, there's people with dual citizenships that live all over the place and, you know, they decide to live in a war-torn country. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys have been with me for years now. Does this briefing take the cake on stupidity? I don't know, but damn, it is up there. It is up there. Wow. I can't believe this dude just said this. Is where they can go live, work, or travel, recreate. Um, number two, they don't have to tell us that they're there. So sometimes it's really hard to get a sense of what the population is. Um, in places like Israel, there's, there, there, there are a lot of Americans. Um, most of them, not well, most, maybe most are dual nationals, but a lot of Americans are, are there. Other nations have smaller populations, and maybe they have, you know, they have to make their own decisions about how they're going to handle those smaller populations. Um, we also have to be respectful of the needs and the desires of Americans who, who live there. We know that some want to leave. We also know that a lot of them want to stay. It's home. They don't want to go. And we have to respect that as well. So we tailor the approach based on what's going on and what's going on geographically inside a country because some parts of countries that are in distress are safer than others and people are less likely to want to go. You have to take all that into consideration. And the other thing I'd say to your question is, it, it, the, as this situation evolves, you should expect that so too will our approach evolve. And, and if there's a need to do more or to do it differently, well, by goodness, we'll, we'll do that. But right now, in the early hours, there was still ample commercial flights going out of Ben-Gurion, and certainly there were some viable land routes. We kept, and part, part of the reason why we're doing this is because we have such good communication with Americans, and we're having these conversations, and we realized that as the situation has evolved, more and more Americans were expressing a desire to leave, and because not all carriers are working out of Ben-Gurion, this made sense as the next best move. If we have to adjust it, we absolutely will. On the day of jihad, are we doing anything to um, fortify, I guess, the U.S. against any potential activity against Americans with, domestically or abroad, given the calls for a day of jihad and your statement yesterday that now is not the time to go back and look at any intelligence gaps? Is it the time being that tomorrow is supposed to be this what, day of jihad? What I meant well, by yesterday was we're focused on making sure that our, our intelligence sharing with the Israelis is as sharp and as good as possible for the operations that they are in. I saw some reporting that made it sound like I blew it off. That is not the case. We understand. No, no, no. It didn't make it seem like you blew it off, John. You did blow it off. And by the way, it was Jackie Heinrich that asked the question. And you go, well, there's a time, there's a time to look back and look into all that stuff. No. <laughs> Why don't we figure that ish out right now? real quick as to what was the problem with the intelligence so that we don't make this mistake again and so that we don't get effed over right now because there's sleeper cells in our country because you decided not to lock up the southern border and vet the people coming in dude i am i'm bewildered man understand that there will, there will be a need to go back and look at what was missed by whom and when of course we're going to do that but we've got to stay focused on the task at hand right now and as for your second question absolutely we are constantly in touch with local law enforcement state and state and uh, uh, federal officials uh, across the country to uh, to make sure that we are as as vigilant as we can be to be able to identify and disrupt uh, any threats to the American people shut we're up. absolutely going to stay focused on that shut up no I you know what? I don't mean to be disrespectful, but shut up. Don't give me this that, oh, we're going to be vigilant and all these things. Folks, this was yesterday's White House press briefing. Today's Friday, Friday the 13th. Today, there was calls to do some evil stuff all around the world. And this guy's going to be, like, oh, we're being vigilant. They haven't been vigilant for years. You had China fly freaking spy balloons across our entire country and they let it happen. What do you mean be vigilant? What do you mean, John? I, 
I know you guys don't need to hear this, but don't trust your government. Don't trust these guys. Protect your damn selves. I would say probably not a great idea for a good while to go into major cities or major populated areas. I would say strap up, ammo's through the roof, get yourself a gun. If you haven't and you're a Second Amendment believer, which you should be because you live in the greatest country that's ever been created that holds that right for you, go down, purchase yourself a firearm, learn all about it, take some training courses, okay, get a CCW if you can. Buy uh, ammo's expensive right now. You think the Biden's for that, of course. And and just lay low for a little bit. I'm not saying be fearful and live your life in fear. That's what the terrorist wants. Or want. Just lay low for a bit. You know what I mean? Just chill. Read a damn book. I don't know. But the reason why I say that is because everybody's on notice, right, for today. Well, what about when everybody kind of relaxes a little bit and they're not on notice anymore? You know there's these guys in our country, folks. You can't say there's not. You'd be you'd be a knucklehead to say there's not sleeper cells here right now based on what we've been seeing at the border from the own Border Patrol agents to ex-Border Patrol agents to ex-Border Patrol agents that were chiefs of the border. Like, everybody said it. We know what's going on. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Don't believe in these knuckleheads because what was just spoken about was head spinning, head spinning. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for this one, folks. I, I wish I, I had more commentary for you other than my, my normal reactions and just completely baffled by what I just heard and saw from this White House. But I know I shouldn't be surprised, but holy crap, man. Uh, <laughs> you're seeing some you're seeing some evil stuff around the world and you would you would have hoped we had a more of a leader in office like Trump. A blow the fuckers right out of the sky. Rocket Man has nothing. F-22 Raptors, baby. Let freedom ring. From sea to shining sea, you're gonna blow them up. Fuck around, you find out. Like, look, I understand a part of that, what I just did, was all for humor and comedy because Lord knows we need it right now. But at the same time, you need a, you need a guy in there that people know aren't, aren't gonna mess around. Joe Biden can't even stay awake, you guys. Like, where's Joe? He's at barbecues, you guys. He's going to barbecues while people are being slaughtered. Our allies are being slaughtered in the streets. He's going to freaking barbecues. And I'm not kidding by saying he can't stay awake. John Kirby had to tell all of us that don't worry, the president is working right now. He's awake. He's working. Come on, man. Come on. Anywho, folks, thank you so much for supporting the Bald Brad Show. I wish we could have more entertaining news and more uplifting news here. But, I mean, everything's just going down the drain real quick. Uh, but this is, this is what you get when you got people that vote for knuckleheads. Um, I would imagine you guys, there's a Democrat somewhere on the bench. It might have to, you have, might have to look pretty far that could do a better job than Joe Biden. But they don't ha I don't know. I don't understand why they're throwing this guy out front again. And Hillary's talking about coming back. Anywho, folks, head over to boldbrad.com. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. Uh, hit that join tab. Lord knows we need the support, man. We need the support. Uh, if you don't want to give monetary and you want to get a gift for a friend, family member, a uh, great book here. Trojan Horse, How the Left is Destroying America. Hell, maybe we should write one, not just talking about destroying America, but destroying the world. Uh, with that being said, we'll be here for tomorrow for Supernatural Saturdays. Hope you guys enjoy that. It'll be uplifting to get away from politics for a day. That's what Supernatural Saturdays is all about, to uh, explore the paranormal, the supernatural, and the uh, unexplained. So, we would love for you to join us. It is humorous. It is fun. But uh, we're looking for that needle in the haystack video that proves there is uh, some extra dimensions out there. I don't know. Some fun stuff. Anyways, uh, thank you so much, folks. And I'll see you tomorrow here on The Bull Brad Show.